block that I grew up on, the 100 block of North 53rd Street, was a quiet block. You see all the trees on the block? The people on that block were very nice, and it was a very quiet block. On Arch Street, it was pretty crazy. There were a lot of um, gang activities around the corner from where I lived. I myself was part of gun violence. I have had shotguns uh, aimed at me. I have had handguns aimed at me. All of these particular situations have shaped my policies on trying to reduce gun violence and save lives. My father was a soldier. He fought in the Second World War, and when he came home, we moved over to 53rd Street. But this is my house right here. But then he was called to fight in the Korean War. And he was wounded in the Korean War, and he came home, and I believe he was suffering from post-traumatic stress. We were very poor. Um, the situation with my dad, uh, exacerbated itself at an early age where we really, like when we were six and five and things like that, we didn't have shoes that would fit us, we didn't have clothes that would fit us. There was an adjustment going on. My dad was trying to find himself and my mother just didn't have the money. But as time went on, he got over his post-traumatic stress to a certain extent that he was able to help the family more. So when we're talking about the education of our children, in order for that child to flourish within the school, he has to have the backing of his family. But if that family is not a strong family, if they need certain things like mental health, um, post-traumatic stress, anger management, job counseling, these particular uh, aspects, if they need that and they don't have that, they're not going to be able to give that child what he needs when he goes to school so that he can flourish in school. So my plan is to make these particular types of um, services available to the parent as well as the child. I mean, it's changed to a certain extent right now. What's happened here in Philadelphia is, is, is totally ridiculous in this respect. We have a mayor who does not get along with the district attorney. So he doesn't talk to the district attorney. But he never talked to the court system. Now everybody that gets arrested goes through the court system. I was the homicide judge for the whole 34 years. That was my major assignment. We have the people coming through the court system. What can we do when we have these people to get them turned away from gun violence. What is it that they have in their lives that makes them want to get involved with gun violence? And that is one of the reasons why I'm running for mayor, because the court system has to be involved.